Hi there. My name is Kim and I'm from the blog queenofheartsclub.com. I've spent the past year experimenting with ways to lower my blood pressure through habit formation. In 2021, I was able to take my blood pressure from an average of about 154 over 100 down to about 125 over 75 on average by the end of the year. I did this without the use of medication. The only thing I did was incorporate habits into my daily lifestyle that would slowly over time contribute to lower blood pressure. This year, in 2022, I'm making these videos to share what I learned with you and to continue on this path that I've already started to wellness. Now you guys responded really well to last week's video, so thank you for that. I really appreciate the support. Uh, and that really just gives me the encouragement to move on. So here I am again. Thanks for being here with me as I follow my heart and try to save it from disease. So today's another what I eat in a day video, uh, but this one is air fryer themed. So as you know, we got an air fryer for Christmas from my parents. We really resisted this trend for a while uh, because we're just not really big on machines in the kitchen. Uh, we have a very utilitarian kitchen. It's pretty small. It has limited counter space, limited cabinet space. So in order to exist in our kitchen, in order to um, continue to live on in our kitchen, you really have to pull your weight. We've had bread machines in the past. We've had juicers and um, crock pots, and they just didn't serve us in the way that we needed them to. And they were just taking up extra space. So we had to get rid of them. The air fryer so far is pulling its weight. We've made several dishes in this thing and it's turned out really well so far. Uh, there's a couple like sweet potato fries. I haven't nailed that one down yet. Uh, I think I need to maybe look up some information online, see if there's anything I need to change. Um, in order to make those come out just perfect. But for now, we're enjoying this experimentation process. We're enjoying making the different vegetables in the air fryer, and some of them have come out really well. So that's what today's video is about. I hope you enjoy it. While filming my last video, I decided we needed a revamp to our coffee bar area. While I'm happy with the organizational strategy and the functionality of this area right now, I feel like we could improve upon that and also make it a little bit more tranquil since this is always my first stop in the mornings. So we've discussed our needs and our wants for this area and I've ordered a few things that I'm excited about and I'll be filming the changes that we make really soon. My coffee routine right now consists of collagen for my joints, almond milk for creaminess, and maple syrup for sweetness. But today, I'm also adding coconut milk and chai spice mix. This is a full fat coconut milk from a can. After we open the can, we save the milk in a mason jar in the fridge. If you do try this, just make sure you get the full fat version for full yumminess. And also make sure you shake it up before you put it in your coffee. Coconut milk is a great source of medium chain triglycerides, or you may have heard some people refer to them as MCTs. These are healthy fats, which can help to protect your heart, and they can help you manage diabetes. And adding it to the coffee also gives it another layer of creaminess. The chai spice mix is adapted from an old recipe of Ingrid Nielsen's. I don't think she's making YouTube videos anymore, but I'm going to go see if I can find the video where she made this. I'll also list the adapted recipe in the description box below. I use cardamom and cloves and cinnamon and ginger, which all have so many health benefits. In fact, chai spice was originally brewed for medicinal purposes in the Ayurvedic tradition. All of these spices have antioxidant properties and anti-inflammatory properties. 
Ginger and cardamom are good for digestion. Ginger can also help with osteoarthritis, which is what I was just diagnosed with on Thursday. My suspicions that I tore my meniscus were echoed by the orthopedist that I saw, but while I was there and he was looking at my x-ray, he also pointed out that I was showing the beginning signs of arthritis in that knee. So I'm currently in the process of mourning the loss of my youth, and the calming chai spice is actually good for that too. This morning, I'm going to drink my coffee in my office. I have these pillows propped up here for my old lady leg. I have my laptop that I'll be writing on and a notebook that I take notes in on the current novel that I'm writing. I also have my journal, which I bought at a train station in Florence, and I really like saying that. But that was back when traveling wasn't such a health risk, which seems like so long ago. I'm sitting in here today because it's really cold and rainy outside. And I have this electric heater in here that my husband bought me for Christmas a few years ago. And then he built this bookcase around it, which I absolutely love. Still makes me happy, continuously. It's the gift that keeps on giving. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy my coffee and do some writing. I also wanted to show you the knee brace the orthopedist gave me. I still have to have an MRI to see just how bad the meniscus tear is, and then we're going to talk treatment options. But for now, this knee brace is helping out quite a lot. For brunch today, I'm making a frittata with eggs and cheddar cheese and some sliced ham and some spinach. As you can see, we use the Rachel Ray way of storing our spinach in a Ziploc bag with a paper towel, and it really does keep well. This spinach has lasted us a week, and I'm going to use the rest of it up today. I tried to get fancy here and crack two eggs at once, and it totally backfired. And once again, I had to dig out some shards of eggshell. Hashtag eggshells happen. I'm also adding a bit of shredded mozzarella left over from last night when my husband made pizza. That's what's great about a frittata is you can really throw anything in. I have done mushrooms in this before or peppers or tomatoes you can get really creative and you can use whatever's about to go bad in the fridge i heat a cast iron skillet on the stovetop and melt some butter in it and then i pour in the rest of the ingredients and spread it out then i cook it in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes this is a very reliable dish. It comes out fluffy and perfect every time, and it's really great for meal prep. This frittata will make six servings, and my kids are not actually big fans of it yet, so this will feed my husband and myself for three days. To go with the frittata, I'm making some homestyle fries in the air fryer. These are one of my favorite brunch foods when I'm out with the girls, but they are a mess at home and a lot of work to make, so I typically avoid that. But now I'm very excited to make them in the air fryer. No fuss, no muss. Potatoes can sometimes suffer from a bad reputation. But these lovely french fry making root vegetables are full of flavonoids, which have strong antioxidant properties and can reduce oxidative stress, which is also just cell damage in the cardiovascular system. What that means is that potatoes can stabilize free radicals in your body, making them less reactive. If you're really interested in the science of oxidative stress, I'll link to an article below about that. 
I just sprayed a little avocado oil over the top, shook them around in the air fryer pan to get the oil distributed, and popped them in. When they came out, I salted them a bit and they turned out really well. I cannot recommend these enough. Normally, I'd add some avocado to this breakfast just to bump up the nutrient content and to keep me full longer because of those healthy fats, but they didn't have those in our local grocery store this week, so I'm making a smoothie instead. I'm using a frozen banana and some cocoa powder. Normally, I'd also have some frozen avocado that I'd put into this too, but we're out of that as well. But we do what we can, right? By the way, I don't recommend freezing your banana whole like that. Um, they're really hard to peel when they're frozen. And I was fully aware of that when I put the banana in the freezer, but sometimes you're just lazy and you throw it in there, peel and all. Uh, for your future self, however, it would be nice to peel them before freezing, just saying. I'm also going to add some trusty almond milk here and mix it up. The rule in our house is that if you are not awake by 10 a.m., I have full authorization to use the Ninja Blender. Yes, it's going to be loud, and yes, it might wake up the teenager, but at least I waited until 10 a.m. I don't use any sweetener in my smoothies because I find the banana, if it's ripe enough when you put it in the freezer, is already plenty sweet enough. Bananas are also great for regulating high blood pressure. They have fiber, potassium, and folate, which your body uses to make red and white blood cells in the bone marrow. They're just so good for you. And so yummy as well. So this is my breakfast. It was so yummy and so filling, and I love a meal with those two qualities. I also love a long weekend workout. There's no need to rush anything. I can turn on some music and really relax into it. Today I focused on some more strengthening exercises for my meniscus tear, and then I did some core yoga. And yes, I kept my cozy socks on for this because there were minimal standing poses because of my knee. So, might as well be cozy. Another self-care routine I enjoy sometimes on the weekends is a long, hot bubble bath. This is the magnesium bubble bath oil that I use from Life Flow. I get this from Thrive Market and I just love it. Studies have shown that the combination of adding magnesium and potassium coupled with a reduction in sodium is very effective in reducing high blood pressure. So for dinner, I'm just making a bunch of veggies in the air fryer and some dips to dip them in. And we're gonna have a sort of air fryer buffet feast. So sweet potato fries, carrot chips, and Brussels sprouts, yogurt dip with some garlic powder, some onion powder, some paprika, some lemon juice, and some parsley. I also have some pesto here uh, and some salsa. Just a little variety of dips to try for each of the vegetables. Sweet potatoes have fiber for healthy digestion they have magnesium, um, which can help reduce stress and anxiety, and they're anti-inflammatory, and they have potassium in them. I made these the same way as I made the potatoes. I just sprayed some avocado oil over the top, shook them up, and cooked them. I made the yogurt dip by putting in some Italian seasoning, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some paprika. And I just mixed it all together. Uh, I usually add lemon juice to this as well, but I was all out of lemons. So it was pretty good the way it was though, without the use of lemons at all. Brussels sprouts are in the same family as cabbage, which we talked about in the last video. So it's not hard to imagine that they're big on nutrient content as well. Uh, these are one of my favorite vegetables. I roast these a lot and they are a great side dish to any meal, but they're also really fun to dip, which is why I included them here. 
Brussels sprouts are one of very few options of plant-based omega-3 fatty acids. They're also high in vitamin C content, vitamin K, B6, and iron. Carrots get their bright orange color from beta carotene, which is an antioxidant that your body converts into vitamin A. They're also a great source of fiber. And uh, for the ladies, these are good to eat right before or after the beginning of your menstrual cycle because they help your liver process estrogen, which can help alleviate cramps. So I made these actually two different ways. These are just some raw carrots that I put on the plate, but I also uh, put some in the air fryer just to see how it worked out. Uh, and I have to say, I prefer the raw carrots. After dinner, my son and I watched the Betty White special, and it was so good. I really loved it. And I had some of this Lily's salted almond chocolate bar, and uh, then we called it a night. Thanks for watching. See you next week.